Okay, well, I'm, I'm ready now. Yeah, I'm also ready. All right, yeah, go for it, man. Uh, just be mindful of sinking because, as you guys know, especially because of the weather, sinking's going a little bit funky. Other than that, go for it. All right, we are back in here getting into the classic YouTube Man vs. Rivers just under a couple different aliases. It's uh, it's your boys, ML and, uh, and Zone. Back yep. at it with the top eight this week. Uh, I haven't pulled up the bracket yet, so I probably should do that. So I know that what we're getting after this is going to be something cool. I have a feeling that this has been a pretty, pretty interesting tournament so far that we've watched. And uh, Gon's off to the early lead uh, in this match alone. Hey, James, right now. Audio issues. Okay. James right now playing through with the banana. Something he normally likes to do. Considering he is a Diddy co main. Throwing that banana away, and he did try to cover behind him with the F smash, but still not quite working out. Again, F smash again. Not, not connecting, but it's, it's, it's scarier the closer he gets. It's like almost the third time he's going to land this one. Oh, and uh, Gon's taking the first stock, actually. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, I fixed it. All right, we're good. <laughs> All right, and James evening it back out. Um, pretty surprising, actually. I this is definitely a matchup that uh, James is Rivers is very well versed in. Um, I think it's actually his go-to now, as opposed to doing the Diddy Ditto. Yeah, I mean, he didn't do the Ditto in Smash 4 either. That's when he was using Luigi, so mm -hmm. makes sense. I mean, a lot of people don't like the Ditto's, and that was actually a genius switch. Very cool. good. I don't know if yeah. like, playing that, but now River's out of the jump, and he's going to get edge guarded for the stock. Mm -hmm. uh, good, good early lead for uh, for Gon, for YouTube man. I know that this has been like just a problem matchup, just as a player, like yeah. his whole career. <laughs> yeah, it all comes full circle, like even yeah. in Smash 4. It's, uh, some, it's and I, I, it definitely makes sense. Sometimes it's hard to like visualize everything, especially when there's two ditties, there's two bananas. So mm -hmm. you have to. There's more than one uh, objective in play, and it's hard to keep track of it. But if there's one banana. I'm sure James is a lot more comfortable. Yeah, and Loki, I think Gons would be more comfortable with only one banana too, because I don't think yeah. anyone likes having to guess which banana is theirs during a scramble. Because mm -hmm. then you run over to pick it up, you trip on it, and die for it. So mm -hmm. I think Gons is okay with not having to do the ditto as well. Probably one of the silliest dittos in the game oh, by yeah. virtue of the banana alone. Yeah. That and like maybe like Hero or something. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah Gon He's bringing it down to the last five. stock, but uh, definitely has a deficit. Um, not yeah, something yeah. that a, a, a Chrome combo can't make up for, too. No, yeah, he, he can get an easy 0 to 50. I know James has so many different routes. But. Again, the, the first step into getting that damage is going to be getting off the ledge, and okay, he does get off of the grab. Very risky sometimes. Does mutual get up into a grab? Look what Diddy can do. Algon's going for the, the patented uh, stand and roll read. <laughs> yeah. He even had Bananas set up, too, like right at uh, neutral get up. He, I saw he landed that earlier in the bracket. He landed a, uh, like a neutral get up. Yeah, well, that, that, the, that sequence was so interesting because Gons had had the winning hit like five <laughs> times in a row and he yeah. just didn't, didn't react to it and then he just got a, an up tilt out of like not even a hit confirm he just got an up tilt so that's just funny to me yeah i mean up tilt's all reliable man it's, mm. it's what frame six i think still in this game yeah frame fast man frame <laughs> fast. yeah that's what i always say frame fast now james has to get the uh oh, fist bump Maybe that's, oh no, it's best of five, so we wouldn't get a fist bump yet if, uh, if Gons wins this game. We are getting the Diddy combo. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it comes and goes, it's different for each player. Like maybe he won't go Krom against every Diddy Kong. Maybe he'll yeah. be comfortable going Diddy against other against certain play styles of the character. Very versatile, so it makes sense. Funny, Gons is not seeding uh, the default Diddy skin. Uh, he, 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 won he won the game. game so he's going to keep it. James not not yielding this uh, first stock either, so he's like, you're gonna give me back that default skin, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he's calling him all over that platform. Very clean first stock from James. Uh, honestly, it 
it, it does it does come to a point where I I think James Rivers realizes that like his optimization of Diddy Kong's combo game is uh, a, at least a tier ahead of Gon's. So like this is yeah. a, a ditto that he can do. Like and it's and he'll even if he's scrapping, he knows he'll get more out of his scrap than Gon's will. So. Yeah, he's like he's spacing around all of Gon's choices so well too. Because I saw a few instances where he'll like walk away right out of Gon's dash attack range and then walks back out of monkey flip range, punishes it with like a pivot grab. Mm -hmm. Like like Gon's has the basic stuff down with Diddy. But, but James is kind of on an, uh, another tier when it comes to getting that extra layer of like advanced punish, more more uh, convoluted combo routes mm. that he can take, especially on these platforms. And like you were saying, he, J James is playing it very well in oh. like a, 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 bull in, a bull in red cape sort of sense, where it's like he's taking a step back and letting uh, Gons take the first swing, and then he's just punishing for him for it every time. And that... Yeah. That in a in a in a matchup like this where scramble it, where scrapping is very common, that's definitely something that can net you a lot of uh, mileage is letting them swing first. Yeah, Gon's got some good percentage on that stock after he uh, after his own barrels kind of killed James and he was able to still recover. So actually, <laughs> like a really good spot for Gon's until until James starts piling on this damage too. That, that's what he's trying to avoid. And one thing I noticed that that Rivers is doing really well is whenever. Uh, Gon's approaches, he'll do a full hop and just wait and see what uh, uh, Gon's does so that if he actually presses a button, he'll land with Nair and just punish it. And then if he doesn't press a button, he'll just dip with like monkey flip. Yeah, he, he's really good at setting up like full hop Nair and into whatever he wants. Just because Diddy's full hop is just so good. Slightly angling the barrels up so he can <laughs> grab the ledge. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how far horizontally sideways like uncharged barrels can go. They they're, they're not to taking you anywhere vertically. Too. Too. Yeah, like, they, like compared to what they were before they got buffed, like, I'm pretty sure, like, before they got buffed, they were, like, those, those like, explosive barrels in Smash 4 where, like, yeah. they didn't go anywhere. Like, yeah, they, they'll kill you at 50. Like, every every custom upbeat, it's either burning or it kills you at 50. <laughs> but that is going to be James retaliating in the Diddy Ditto, and they're going back to the music counter picks. I don't know what we're going to get this time. Colors weave into a spire of flames. I wonder who's selecting the song though. Like who? Like I feel like I don't know. I feel like it's one person that's that's selecting it each time. But I feel like yeah, I feel like it is. I, I feel like it's gone. Oh, so it, it, so Gons yields the default skin, <laughs> but James doesn't choose it. Yeah. Didn't James? He used to use purple, right? Or am I, uh, I used to use purple. You used purple. Um, James always used default. Actually, the skin that he's using right now is this is Adam. 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 Yeah, this is Adam's yeah. skin. Yeah. He's, Adam. he's somewhere playing, uh, I don't know, Valorant, Valorant or right something. Now. <laughs> but the Dragon onto Ball. game three. Uh, looking pretty even right now. James yeah. definitely like kind of like pulling ahead though. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like one of those things where it's like while they're scrambling, they're both doing about like equal damage to each other. But as soon as, J as, soon as Rivers pulls back, and decides, okay, you're gonna swing first, and I'm gonna hit you after. That's when he starts to pull ahead. Yeah, for sure. I like how they both did start the game too, just with like banana pull at the same time. So you know how important it's gonna be for them to each be good with this banana. James throwing that one back to center, just getting rid of it. It's gonna come down to whether whether you know which banana is yours or not. Sometimes it's it's kind of interesting though, because like it 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 actually is sort of hard. It's harder for Diddy, in my opinion, like, Diddy Kong is harder to deal with without Banana in the Ditto than he is with the Banana. So, like, maybe that's why he threw it, because he realized, like, well, I mean, like, the buttons that I want to click, I can't really do them with Banana to, like, mm -hmm. hit Diddy, so I'm just going to throw it. Like, I just I yeah. want to be able to use these scrapping options. And yeah, you'd have work. to Z-drop it every time. Yeah. And sometimes but, that can be, a, that can be kind of... It can screw up your muscle memory a little bit too if yeah, you have to like, like start remembering how to Z drop everything. Like banana is definitely a, a great tool, but sometimes in the Ditto you you don't want it. You want to be able to use certain scrapping tools that Diddy doesn't have the best answers to, so that you can beat Diddy Kong. Like it's it's kind of weird to say. Yeah, and I was a good call out on the high monkey flip too. That's that's like the thing to call out a lot of Diddy players for is that when they just try to recover high with that monkey flip. That, that's been like a time honor tradition in the past almost, I guess, seven years of mm -hmm. playing against like top tier Diddy outside of Brawl. Like that monkey flip high, a, a lot of characters, if you have like a decent range up, upwards attack, you, you can just call Diddy out really up there high. Mm -hmm. 
nothing like Mar like Gon's attempted to do right there. <laughs> <Stiddle>. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's a monkey mirror. That's that's they're literally looking in a mirror. It says a lot about society. <laughs> But uh, Gon's evening it out, and uh, the double throw, and the double throw again. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is like, I don't even know what to call it. I, I guess they're, they're memeing on each other right now. Monkey business. Yeah. They're just guys being dudes, you know? Yeah, that'll do Hopefully it. Be better. The landing on the, not landing on the top platform, and getting the F smash mm -hmm. to close out the stock. So... Yeah, I don't know what kind of mix-up he might be going for, try to bait James into things to land on the platform, but then lands low. Yeah, that's that's what it looked like. Okay, nice tomahawk too. Keeping James. He's getting the first hit of <laughs> getting the first hit of forward smash and getting knocked out of the second by barrels. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that's where the the extra knockback from barrel oh, actually kind of can come in handy. Oh uh, yeah, I tried to catch it, I guess. Smash ultimate classic. Oh yeah. Rivers taking game three pretty solidly. It, it looked like uh, Gons was in a, a position to be poised to even that out, but uh, unfortunate SD uh, decided his fate for game three. Um, more than likely going to be another Diddy Ditto for game four, and James going out of his way to pick that uh, <laughs> that yeah. that uh, alt this time. So I guess this is his, his uh, the second alt that he likes. Yeah, and they're both trying to, uh, they're doing something with their hands. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but... Oh, going back? Are we changing the music again? Changing the music again? Yeah. It's important, well, man. You gotta, you yeah. gotta, gotta hear your, I haven't, your favorite I haven't tracks. Been hearing, I haven't been hearing any game music through my feed. Um, I, I just have the volume turned down a little bit. I don't want too much noise because I don't have any headphones on right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been kind of, I, I haven't even known. People are saying, oh, this music's so good for the occasion. It's like, well... You guys know better than I do. I don't even know what's going on right now. The hearing game four, um, look at the patented double pull at the start of the game. <laughs> yeah, Rivers taking first blood. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's nice like 50% I got right off the bat. But it remind, brings me back to when people would just double limit charge up the full limit to start oh, the game. Oh, I out. remember those <laughs> days. Oh, man. It warms my old heart. Oh, no. <laughs> I was I was the cloud that was like, nah, screw this. I'm running at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, no. Because then I have to play against Limit Cloud, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, exactly. Good parry on the up air. That up air normally, like, super safe on your shield, because you, you can, like, pop up, too. Upward Z drop into forward smash. That was good DI, too, from uh, from the YouTube Yeah, game, right, in, right into the right corner. The corner. That, that forward smash is just that ridiculous. Yeah, so powerful. You wouldn't think you wouldn't think this this little chimp has uh, so much power behind him, but those, that little double hand spin slap is just... Packs a punch. Mm -hmm. We got we got Rivers buffering options now, so we know he's feeling himself a bit. <laughs> yeah, he, he's buffering like the right DI too. Like he, he doesn't care. He's gonna DI out um, uh, even when when Gon has a back throw setup because he knows that down throw is gonna come. But R R Rivers is not gonna fall for his own DI traps. The Diddy Kong. Yeah, it, it, Rivers is. Uh, he's like, I'm not even waiting for you anymore. I'm I'm gonna win this game. Like just yeah, you can you can like kind of like see it on him. Like. Mm -hmm. Um, but got a ledge trap opportunity for Gons. Snipes the jump. Oh, very nice Z drop by Rivers. Yeah, with off the B reverse too, he's able to get a, uh, a Z drop sneak in there to safely land. Good patience too. Ooh, Not immediately. That, 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 that angle, angle, yeah, he was a little too yeah. high. He went sideways. Yeah, that that's that's just a game saying that it's time for you to lose the roll, honestly. Okay, nice snipe. Yeah, let's see what, what Gons has in store for us for his last stock in winners, potentially. Yeah, I've, I've seen him make these comebacks before. I mean, Nate, granted, not not against uh, against James, but against uh, other pretty solid players, too. He's come back from, from large deficits as well. I think Gons with a very nice landing banana pull there to snipe out the aerial. All right, these 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 uh these interactions are going in uh, Gonz's way so far. So a yeah, good he, a good a good banana interaction right here will steal the stock. Yeah, Very he, nice he's parry, like out but neutraling, parry, yeah, yeah. out neutraling James at like every stop right now. 
We saw earlier that, that Gon's actually parried a monkey flip, but you're not really going to get much off of no. that, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, there's just some moves in this game where it's like you get you want to get the frame advantage with the parry, but then at the same time the moves, they, they send too far away Ooh, on their own. Nice forward smash, second hit catching the air dodge into the ground. Yeah, and that's what now we, we said too. Last stock. Like, he can make this comeback, it's entirely possible. He won neutral like 10 times in that last stock, there's nothing, nothing saying he can't do it again. One opener can lead to like 40, 50 percent sometimes. Oof, that. Oof. Oh how did? You, how would you even know how to react in that scenario? Like which uh, banana? Is, which banana is mine? Like, yeah. Nice monkey flip off the ledge. Okay. Yeah, at some point, I feel like there's like 10 things all over the place. With that, with the bonus damage of Rivers hitting himself with the barrels and getting the forward smash after the banana throw, it's not out of the question right now for Guns to potentially take this. Oh my God, that, that parry was big, but James wasn't able to still solidify K off of it. See, in a scenario like that, like I, I applaud James for knowing that his banana was the one that was thrown first, because I wouldn't have even pulled it. Like I wouldn't, yeah. have, I would, I would have been like, I don't know which banana it was, the, was the one that he threw first, because if he didn't have, if he didn't know that his banana was the one that was thrown first and he could pull, he wouldn't have been able to get that confirmed that he just got. Yeah, that, that was a valiant effort from uh, from YouTube man. Uh, bringing it back. I mean, James had 78% on him. That was like yeah, a banana exactly. F smash at ledge away from, yeah. from Gons bringing it to game five. Either one of them could have gotten banana F smash there and taken the game. Yeah, it just so happened to be James off of uh, Gons' get up attack. It was a good choice. He, he hadn't gone for it the whole set. So um, can't blame him really at all for it going for um, a choice like that. But.